The Office of Head Start issued a program instruction on October 31, 2006 that can serve as a helpful tool when clarifying the program's roles and responsibilities in oral health services. Head Start program's responsibilities vary with the age of children it serves. I will discuss each age and the appropriate activity to provide. For infants under the age of one, at least once during the program day, staff or volunteers must wash their hands and then cover a finger with a gauze pad or soft cloth and gently wipe the infant's gums. For children between the age of one and two years, once daily after a meal, Head Start staff or volunteers if available must brush children's teeth with a soft bristled toothbrush using a small smear of toothpaste that contains fluoride. For children aged two and over, once daily, after a meal, Head Start staff or volunteers, if available, should assist children in brushing their teeth using a smear of fluoride toothpaste. Staff should make sure children do not rinse their mouths nor swallow their toothpaste. This can be accomplished by providing the children with a disposable cup containing a smear of fluoride toothpaste. The children can brush their teeth and spit any remaining toothpaste into the cup. The cup can then be discarded. The key is that children do not rinse their mouths. The idea is to keep fluoride around the children's teeth so the children can receive as much benefit as possible. The Head Start program has the following responsibilities within 90 days of a child's entry into the program. Determine if a child has an ongoing source of a continuous, accessible health care. This includes a dental home. Determine whether a child is up to date according to the state's Early and Periodic Screening Diagnostic and Treatment, or EPSDT, schedule, including dental exams. If a child is not up to date, assist parents in making necessary arrangements to bring their child up to date. If a child is up to date, ensure the child continues to follow the state's EPSDT schedule. The program must develop procedures to track the provision of health care services. Obtain further examination and or treatment by a licensed or certified professional for each child with a known or suspected health or developmental problem. A dental home is defined by the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry as a source of continuous, comprehensive oral health care delivered or directed by a professional dentist. This is a challenge in many areas of West Virginia. There are many dentists who will not see children under the age of five. Head Start programs can bring providers on site or use mobile dental vans to assist parents in obtaining examinations and or to begin treatment services. At the same time, we can work with the family to secure continuous dental care for their child. If a child is not up to date, programs must assist parents in bringing the child current. Assistance to parents includes providing education to help parents understand the importance of having their child see a dentist, identifying dentists in the community that accept Medicaid or other forms of insurance, or that provide free oral health care providing and or arranging for transportation to the dentist and arranging for child care services. In instances where parents are unable to accompany their child to the dentist, Head Start programs with written parental consent can either transport the child to the dentist or have the dentist come to the center to provide services to the child. For children who are found to be up to date according to the state periodicity schedule, Head Start grantees must ensure they continue to follow the recommended schedule of well child care. In order to maintain a child's oral health, it is critical that procedures for identifying any new dental concerns be implemented as required in 1304.20D. Staff having day-to-day -day interactions with children such as bus drivers, teachers, assistant teachers, family service workers, cooks, and all other staff must be familiar with these procedures in order to help identify children in need of dental care as soon as possible. West Virginia's EPSDT periodicity schedule requires physicians to make a referral to a dentist at age two. Earlier initial dental evaluation may be appropriate for some children. Early Head Start programs are instrumental in identifying when a child may need to be referred to the dentist prior to the age of two. This information can be accessed at the West Virginia Department of Health and Human Resources website. Paying for dental services. Early Head Start or Head Start program funds may be used for medical or dental services when no other source of funding is available. 
If a child is enrolled in Medicaid and there are no dentists available to provide services, then Head Start or Early Head Start program funds can be used to pay for dental services. Head Start programs should document what efforts were made to find other funding sources and why the program decided it had no recourse other than using Head Start funds to cover required dental services. Head Start focuses on prevention and early intervention. Good oral health for infants, toddlers, and preschool children leads to good adult oral health. Good oral health is essential for a child's behavioral, speech, language, and overall growth and development. We must not allow the attitude to continue that baby teeth don't count since they are not adult teeth. As with everything we teach children and families in Head Start, we strive to build long-lasting behaviors that can benefit children their entire lives. Additionally, there is an immediate negative impact on a child's overall health if decay is allowed to flourish in a child's mouth. It becomes more than just an ugly smile. Infection can occur and serious health issues can arise from this, including death. It is Head Start's responsibility to provide good information to parents so they can make good decisions for their children. We must educate parents and support them in good oral health practices. West Virginia Partners for Oral Health hope that you found this training DVD helpful and will be able to use the information provided to improve the oral health of children in this state. We also hope that it helps to build lasting relationships between local Head Start programs and oral health professionals. As a team, we can tackle this issue and improve the lives of children in West Virginia.